I was, uh, well, I was everywhere. I was in a Tesco care park. I was in the side of the road, lay by, wherever I could put my caravan, basically. The police would be on to the following morning telling us we've got to go. We'd plead to them and beg them that we've got nowhere else, or they'd leave us probably a day, two days. I couldn't take no more. So I sold everything I had, and so did the rest, and bought this scrapyard, and got bulldozers, and lorries, and dragged the oil, Just go the, in. Scrap, right here. Right here. the engines, everything. We bought this, that was the scrapyard. There was always a scrapyard, and uh, this is where the first barrier is. So when we bought all this up along here, because the house is there, that's pest ground. Mm -hmm. So that's the first barrier, that's the second barrier, so that's where we live. And it was always a scrapyard, but it was never on the news mm -hmm. or the papers showing it was a scrapyard. It just always says that we're on Greenbelt land. They never ever said it was a scrapyard and show where the cars were scrapped and everything on the, where the scrapyard was. On any, on any television, any news, any paper, to just... Everybody hears that we're on Greenbelt land and that's it. They don't hear the rest of the story. That is when it, that's when it was before, ever, before the Trevors ever moved on there. A scrapyard. A scrapyard. There's everything out of it. We thought, well, if it's a scrapyard, we'll buy it. We'll make a home of it. We don't want the council to pay us any money. We will chip in and we'll make a life for ourselves here. We're off the side of the road. We're away from council, giving them hassle. And we can make a life here. <laughs> Yeah.